Mera Saab Gota and you're watching DWIT News. Let's start with the college headlines. DWIT Sports Club successfully conducted swimming session. DWIT Social Service Club in collaboration with City Lions Club of Chabel conducted blood donation campaign. Students from class of 2021 won girls in ICT Hackathon 2019. Hiking Club organized a two-day hike. And the national headline is, Nepal signed a deal with China to access seven tiny sea and land ports. DWID Sports Club conducted swimming session on 22nd of April at Bajra Sports Center, Kalapul. Total of 12 participants participated in the session. Everyone arrived at the college premises at 10 a.m. and headed towards the swimming pool. We are planning to conduct similar sessions throughout the summer, said Nishal Rimal, president of DWIT Sports Club. DWIT Social Service Club conducted blood donation campaign in collaboration with City Lions Club Chavel. The event was successfully held at Deer Walk Table Tennis Court on 25th April. 54 donors donated blood during the event. The donors were facilitated with a certificate of appreciation. Dakshita Karki and Aishira Sapkota from Batch of 2021 won Girls in ICT Hackathon 2019. It was an event organized by CSIT Association of Nepal in collaboration with Nepal Telecom Authority. The two days event was held at Informatics College, Pokhara, on 22nd and 23rd of April, where a total of 10 selected teams from all around Nepal presented their idea and submitted their respective prototype. We participated in Girls in ICT Hackathon, which had the topic solving gender issues through technology. And uh, our problem was a bit different from others because we were not focusing on the general idea of male and female, but we were more focusing on the LGBT community. So uh, we went to Pokhara, where the event was held at in the informatics college, and there were about 10 participants, uh, including our team. DWIT Hiking Club organized a two days hike to Bandipur on 25th of April, Saturday. A total of 16 participants were selected for the hike and everyone assembled at Diova Complex at sharp 7 am. Participants hiked to Siddha Cave from Bimal Nagar. They stopped at Bandipur Bazaar to view the culture, old architecture, and the beauty that the city possessed. The following day, they headed towards Lamo Jharna and later returned to Kathmandu at 6 in the afternoon. Uh, there were 16 of hikers selected for the Bandipur hike. We went to Siddha Cave, one of the largest caves in Asia. And also to the longest waterfall in Nepal. Indeed, it was a memorable experience. President Vidya Devi Bhandari held a bilateral meeting with her Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping at the Great Wall of People on Monday. In the presence of two heads of state, Nepal and China signed the protocol of implementing the Transit and Transport Agreement. The signing of the protocol makes it possible for Nepal to use four Chinese sea ports in Tanjin, Shenzhen, Langjiang, and Saijiang, and three land ports in Langzhou, Lhasa, and Shigatse for third country import. It will also allow Nepal to carry out exports through six dedicated transit points between Nepal and China. That's it for this edition of DWIT News. Visit dwitnews.com for latest college news and national news.